Namaste friends, welcome back to my channel. Friends, in today's video, I have brought to you these gorgeous earrings that I have named as Square Drop Glamour Earrings. You can see the look, the glamour, the pikons that are adding the glamour to these earrings. And I just love these earrings. And as I named this as Square Drop Glamour Earrings. So here I have made these earrings in mint green color, the Elbisto mint green color and few more colorways i can just show you this gorgeous white triple color you can see the look you can also use it as reversible earrings you can see this back side of these earrings even the back looks so gorgeous you can use it from both the sides just look how different they look from both the sides and yet you can use these from both the sides so this one is in white opal color the other one the classic black color from the back and the front Let me just show you the mint earrings, the earrings in mint elbister color from the back side. Just look at the shine, the glamour, even the back side looks so gorgeous. So these are the few colorways that I have made in this gorgeous square drop glamour earrings. And in today's video, we are going to make these earrings in this gorgeous ruby red color. So let us see what all material do we need to make our square drop glamour earring in ruby red color. Friends, for making our square drop glamour earring in this gorgeous ruby red color, we are going to use these 4 mm icons in ruby red color. Then I'm using these bralettes. These are flat bralettes in again in ruby red color here i'm using these 8 mm pearls in white color and 3 mm pearls again in white color i'll be using these 11 o's these are muki duracoat galvanized champagne 11 o's and 15 o's again in the same color that is muki duracoat galvanized champagne 15 o's here i'll be using these lever back ear wires or ear hooks i'll be working with muki thread and size 12 beading needle so let's get started. Friends, we will start making our square drop glamour earring by picking up eight pairs of these 4mm bicon in 11 O's. So here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So these are the eight pairs. And now I'm bringing these down towards the end of my thread like this and now i'm going to tie a knot a double knot here very gently like this and now i'm going to pass through all these beads very gently pulling in the tail, then between these beads, the python, the 11 o's, Like this, and into this 11 o icon and the 11 o. So, this is our ring. And here, as I'm exiting through this 11 o, I'm going to pass through the next 11, 4 mm icon, 11 o, and the 4 mm icon. And now, skipping this 11 o again into the set of next three beads, the 4 mm icon, 11 o and the 4mm bicon 
and here pulling up the 11 like this now again I'm going to skip this 11 and into the next set of three beads the 4mm bike 11 and the 4mm bike pulling it up like this we have created the corners skipping this 11 into the next three beads again pulling up this 11 skipping this 11 and into the 4mm python and the 11 like this and just pulling this up like this so, so this is the look after completing this round and now before proceeding further we will first cut this tail off and now here as I'm exiting through this 11 ohm champagne I'm picking up one 8 mm pearl and here into this opposite 11 ohm champagne like this stepping up into the pearl the 8 mm pearl into the 11 ohm champagne like this and now as I'm exiting through this 11 ohm champagne I am picking up four 11 ohm champagne and skipping these three beads into the 11 ohm champagne like this Again, picking up four 11 ohm champagne, skipping these three beads into this 11 ohm champagne, picking up four 11 ohm champagne. Again, I'm picking the set of these three beads and into the 11 ohm champagne. Now picking up my last set of four 11 ohm champagne, skipping these sets into the 11 ohm champagne like this. So here you can see the look and now stepping up into the first set of four 11 ohm champagne. Now picking up one 15 ohm champagne into the four 11 ohm champagne. Again, picking up one 15 or champagne into the next four 11 or champagne. Just keep your thread nice and tight and push these 15 o's towards the center. Now, again, picking up one 15 or champagne into the next four 11 or champagne and the last 15 ohm champagne into the next four 11 ohm champagne like this. Now after adding this last 15 ohm moving down through this 11 ohm into the 4 mm bicon. Skipping this 11 ohm. And into the 4 mm Biken. Now I am picking up one 11 ohm champagne and into the 4 mm bicon. Just pushing it the back, skipping this 11 ohm into the 4 mm bicon. Again, picking up one 11 ohm champagne into the next 4 mm bicon skipping this 11 ohm 
into the next 4 mm right hand taking a 11 or champagne into the 4 mm right hand skipping the 11 o into the next 4 mm right hand so this way I have added 11 o's all through this round like this skipping this one and into the 4 mm python stepping up into the 11 o that we have just added like this so you can see the look after completing this round and now as I'm exiting through this 11 o I'm going to pick up three 11 o champagne and into this 11 o creating this right angle weave stitch here into the 4 mm by 10 and now I'm passing through these 11 o's that we skipped in the last round into the python again into this 11 o champagne that we added in the last round picking up three 11 o champagne and into this 11 o like this up through the python the 11 o's so here i have added this right angle weave to two 11 o's i'll be adding this to the rest of the two and come back and you can see the look after completing this round and here after adding this last right angle weave stitch right right now i'm exiting for this 11 o champagne so here after adding the right angle weave stitch to all the four 11 o's you can see the look and after adding the last right angle weave stitch right now I'm exiting through this 11 or champagne moving up through the stepping up into this 11 o and into this one so here I'm exiting through this 11 o the opposite one and now I'm picking up one 11 o champagne one 3 mm pearl and one 15 o champagne these three beads 11 o 3 mm pearl and 115 o champagne and into this 11 o champagne like this now i'm going to take the beads in the reverse reverse order 15 o first then 3 mm pearl and 11 o champagne so here i have picked up 15 o first then 3 mm pearl and then 11 o champagne and into this 11 o the top one of this next right angle weave stitch like this now picking up one 11 o champagne one 11 o champagne one 3 mm pearl and one 15 o champagne and into this 11 o added between the bicons now picking up the beads in the reverse order that is 15 o champagne the 3 mm pearl and the 11 o champagne like this into this 11 o the opposite one the top one of the right angle view so this way i'm going to add the pearls and 15 o 11 o's all through this round and this is the last set 15 o 3 mm pearl and 11 o and into this 11 o champagne like this so this is the look from the back side and this is from the front but here we are going to just pull these bottom 11 o's at the back like this and this is the front side here and here I am exiting through this 11 o champagne and now passing through this 11 o champagne and into the 3 mm pearl 
just stepping up into this 3 mm pearl and picking up 115 no champagne, 1 4 mm bike pen, and 115 no champagne. The set of these three beads 115 no 4 mm bike pen, and 115 no champagne into the 3 mm pearl and the 11 no champagne, like this, picking up. 3, 15 or champagne, skipping the middle one into the next 11 or champagne and into the 3 mm pearl. Like this, again picking up 1, 15 or champagne, 4 mm pipe pen and 1, 15 or champagne. The set of these 3 beads into the 3 mm pearl and the 11 or champagne. Picking up the set of three 15 o champagne, skipping this 11 o into this 11 o and into the 3 mm pearl. Picking up one 15 o champagne, one 4 mm bike pen, and one 15 o champagne. The set of these three beads into the 3 mm pearl and the 11 o champagne picking up 3 15 o champagne into the 11 o and the 4 mm pearl and the last set of 15 o champagne 4 mm bacon and 15 o champagne into the 3 mm pearl and into the 11 o champagne and now adding the last set of three 15 o champagne skipping the middle one into the next 11 o champagne and 3 mm per so after completing this round you can see the look from the back and from the front and now I'll be working on the front side. So here, as I'm exiting through this 3 mm pearl, I'm picking up 215 o champagne, and I'm going to pass through this 11 o champagne just below the 4 mm pike pen, like this. Again, picking up 215 o champagne into the 3 mm pearl the 11 o champagne like this stepping up into this first 15 o skipping the middle one the second one and into the third 15 o like this down through the 11 o champagne and the 3 mm pearl here as i'm exiting through this 3 mm pearl again i'm picking up 215 o champagne now this is the front side and into this 11 o champagne at the bottom of the 4 mm bike pen, picking up 215 o champagne and into the 3 mm pearl and into the 11 o champagne. Like this, up through the first fifteen of champagne, skipping the middle one, the second one, down through the fifteen of champagne, the eleven of champagne, and the next three mm pearl, 
like this we have to create this corner the tip over here as we have done here and here and we are going to add 15 nodes in front of the pipe fill so here as i'm exiting through this 3mm pearl again i'm picking up two 15 o champagne into this 11 o champagne at the bottom of the pipe fill again picking up two 15 o champagne and into the 3mm pearl and the 11 o champagne like this into the 15 o the first one skipping the second one down through the 15 o 11 o and the 3 mm pearl so here i have skipped the middle one like this and creating this tip over here so exiting through this 3 mm pearl Again, I'm picking up two 15 o champagne and into this 11 o champagne at the bottom of the pipe fill. Picking up two 15 o champagne and into the 3 mm pearl, the 11 o. into this 15 o the first one skipping the middle one down through the 11 o and the 3 mm per So here, after completing this round, this is the look. We have added 15 nodes in front of the pikeon and we have created the tip on these corners over here. So after completing this round, you have you can see the look. And right now, I'm exiting to this 3mm pearl, moving down to these two 15 nodes. Up. Skipping this 11 o at the bottom and up through the 215 o's like this, creating a V over here into the 3 mm pearl after exiting through this 3 mm pearl. I'm going to pick up two 15 o champagne and one 11 o champagne and here I'm going to pass through this 15 o that we have added in between the sets of these 11 o's. So this is the 15 o that we added here. So I'm passing through this one again I'm picking up one 11 o and two 15 o's these the same three beads but in the reverse order 11 o and two 15 o's and into the 3 mm pearl like this moving down to the two 15 o's that we added in front of the pikeon Skipping the 11 o up through the two 15 o's like this and into the 3 mm pearl like this. Now picking up two 15 o champagne and one 11 o champagne. These three beads into the 15 o added between these 11 o's 
like this. Now the same three beads in the reverse order, the 11 o and the two 15 o's. And into this, 3 mm per. So you can see we have added these embellishment and I'll be doing this all through this round. And here I'm adding my last set of 15 O's and 11 O's into the three mm per. So you can see the look after completing this round and here Stepping up into the 15 o and the 4 mm bike. And now I'm picking up the set of these nine beads 4 15 o champagne, 1 11 o champagne, and 4 15 o champagne back into the 4 mm bike like this. Stepping up into the first. 4 15 o champagne skipping the 11 o down through the 4 15 o's and just pulling this 11 o up like this back into the python up through the 4 15 o's into the 11 o and now here i'm going to add my ear hook so i'm picking up three 11 o's and this is the front side of my ear hook so i'm holding it like this after picking up these 11 o champagne i'm just passing through this ear hook this way Again, picking up three 11 o champagne and into this 11 o champagne at the bottom. Just check the ear hook that we have added it right. And now stepping up into the first two 11 o champagne, like this. I'm picking up one 15 o champagne into the 11 o's and the ear hook to 11 o's. Again, I'm picking up one 15 o champagne down through these two 11 o's. Just keep your thread nice and tight here. Up through the two skipping this 11 o champagne at the bottom like this up through the 15 o the 11 o the ear hook the 11 o and the 15 o all these beads down through the two 11 o's now I'm passing through this 11 o at the bottom. Once again, taking one more pass through all these beads just to reinforce. Into these two 11 o's, the loop of this ear hook. down through the 15 o champagne and the two 11 o champagne into this 11 o down through these four 15 o champagne into the four mm python the 15 o the pearl the 11 o into this 11 o the pearl and the 15 o oh. 
into the four mm icon into the 15 the pearl and the 11 into this 11 these two 11 o's the pearl Fifteen or champagne and the four mm spike. So here we have reached the spike just opposite to the one to which we have attached the ear hook. Now we are going to attach the drop over here, and for this, I am picking up one three mm pearl, one four mm spike, and one three mm pearl. these three beads back into the 4mm icon like this now picking up 115 o champagne into the 3mm pearl one fifteen o champagne into the icon in picking a 115 or champagne into the 3 mm pearl and this 15 or champagne into the 4 mm bicon and now stepping up into the first 15 or champagne that I added here picking up 215 or champagne 111 or champagne and 215 or champagne a set of these five beads and here passing through this 15 o just opposite diagonally back into these beads into this 15 o the pearl and the next 15 o champagne Picking up two fifteen or champagne into this eleven or champagne. Picking up two fifteen or champagne into this fifteen or champagne on the side over here, back into these beads, these fifteen o's. 11 o and these 15 o's all these five beads into this 15 o champagne and into the 4 mm bacon and now picking up 315 o champagne 111 o champagne and 315 o champagne the set of these seven beads back into the bicon stepping up into the 315 o's skipping the 11 o and into the 315 o's pulling the 11 o out up to this 15 o 3 mm pearl and the 15 o into the 4 mm bicon down to this 15 o 3 mm pearl and these 15 o's like this down to these 15 o's and the 11 o champagne and here i'm going to add the drop so i'm picking up one 11 o champagne one 3 mm pearl and four 11 o champagne 
if I drop beat, here is the drop beat. So here I have picked up these beads, one 11 champagne, three mm pearl, four 11 champagne and the drop beat. Now, picking up three 11 champagne, Skipping these three 11 O's from the bottom up to this 11 O and the 3 mm pearl. Picking up one 11 O champagne and into this 11 O champagne like this. I'm just moving down through all these beads just to reinforce. these 11 o's the drop bead up through all these 11 o's like this through this 11 o so here we have added the drop moving up through these 15 o's This 15 o, the pikein, the 15 o, the 3 mm pearl, and I'm going to pass through all these 11 o's, the 3 11 o's, and the 3 mm pearl. So here I have passed through all these 3 11 o's, the 3 mm pearl. The 15 o. Bite in 15 o. The 3 mm pearl. And this 11 o. Moving on the top over here. into these three 11 o's so these two 11 o's the 3 mm pearl and here into this 15 o champagne up through these three 15 o's skipping the 11 o on the top over here and down through these 15 o's the four 15 o's into this 15 o and the 3 mm pearl like this after this 3 mm pearl right now I'm exiting through this 11 o into this 11 o the next one down through this 11 o into this right angle wave and here tying the knot into this 11 o the pipe in And the 11 o. Now 
with this and here I'm cutting this thread off and if you just pull these 11 nodes at the back All the four sets here you can see the look from the back also so friends here we have completed our square drop glamour earring in this gorgeous ruby red color just look at the front and the back of these earrings it looks gorgeous from both the sides and you can use them from both the sides as we are using this liver back ear wire ear hook this can also be used from both the sides so these are reversible earrings and let us take a quick look over the other colorways that i have shown you in the beginning of the video this one this gorgeous alvester mint color mint alvester color one a classic black color and gorgeous white opal color and I'm sure you will enjoy making these earrings and wearing these teaming these up with your different attires and of course you will love gifting these to your friends and your family so friends if you like my designs and my tutorials please do subscribe to my channel and please don't forget to press the bell icon so that you may get notified when I'll upload my next videos thank you and namaste